Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I would like to do this Planeswalker review for you folks today. This Planeswalker that we're talking about is Gris, the Plague Swarm. And before we get into it, we want to give a big shout out to Webcore. Thank you very much, Webcore. Thank you guys. Thank you so much for giving us this Planeswalker. Really what they're doing, guys, is taking care of us so that we can take care of you by giving you all the information you need ahead of time so you can make an informed decision on whether you like this Planeswalker or not. All right, so as we take a look here on your screen, you'll see the Planeswalker. And one thing I wanna point out real quick is this over here. This is the hit points or life points, if you will. It's got 136. That's a pretty high amount, I would say. And I'd say that's pretty high, that, that's very generous. Only because this is a very, very good Planeswalker. This is a strong, strong Planeswalker, as a lot of the black and green ones are, right? I think Garouk comes to mind. This is a really dominant color combination, and it produces a lot of strong Planeswalkers. And this one, of course, is one of those. And like I said, 136 is kind of generous just because this is a very, very strong Planeswalker. All right, so let's get into the passive ability. Swarm Form. When you cast a creature card for the first time each turn, that creature gains the insect subtype. Then gain X mana. X is a number of insect cards you control, including their reinforcements up to 10. So that's a real good one. Obviously, you're going to want to have a lot of insect tokens on the board. And you play a creature card. And once the creature card comes into play, you'll be able to gain a ton of free mana. And that's going to be really good over the course of the game if you design your deck that way. Now, you may have asked, hey, how am I going to get those, those insect tokens? Well, if you take a look at the rest of these abilities, I'll go through them one by one, you'll see that there's a very easy path for you to make these insect tokens. And that's kind of the point of this Planeswalker here. This Planeswalker is what I would refer to as a themed Planeswalker. Themed Planeswalkers are ones that have obviously a theme. And this one has a theme, right? The, the Golgari insects you'll see the insect tokens, as I mentioned earlier. All right, so we'll get into the whole uh, ability and how to use this one at this point. Okay, so let's take a look at these abilities. For six, you get Maggot Feast. It says, destroy the top four cards of your library, corrupt four gems, then return the last creature card from your graveyard to play under your control. That creature gains the insect subtype. So I think this is a really interesting ability. I think this is a good ability. If you have decks that have a lot of creatures, you'll throw some of them here into the graveyard and then you'll get one for free. And then at, at some point, maybe you're going to want to play a card like Coffin Queen. That's going to get you another one. What I would say is you can go with that route, but what I would probably do instead is go with a deck that's only got maybe one or two of these creatures, right? And then play a card like Gather the Pack. Gather the Pack is a really nice origin card. You probably already have it in your collection. I would go Gather the Pack, and then on my next turn, I would hit this Maggot Feast ability. The Maggot Feast is an interesting one because it's going to get rid of those top four cards. And if you've played Gather the Pack before you hit this ability, there's going to be a good chance that none of the top four cards are going to be creatures. In fact, if you only have one creature in your deck, you're going to throw a bunch of them into the graveyard and then you're going to be able to control which one you pull out with this ability, right? I would probably go with maybe maybe uh, a good one like Galta, right? Galta, you pull that one out of your graveyard, it comes into play, you'll convert a ton of gems to green. Just one way to play this one here. That's kind of what I would do. Okay, so here's the next one, Termite Infestation. Destroy up to three opposing non-token support cards at random. This effect can affect vanguards. Then create six Golgari insect tokens. Insect tokens you control gain death touch. This is what the insect token looks like, the Golgari insect here. Not huge, not crazy, but it's going to be super effective, especially when you use this ability because it's going to have death touch. I think this is actually a good piece of advice if you're a new player, right? If you're a new player, I would, I'd pay attention to this. What I would do is use this ability. It's going to get the, the insects out. They're going to have death touch. And then what I would do is I would also include cards like Lava Spur Boots and Mantle of Webs, right? Lava Spur Boots is basically going to give your first creature the ability to have first strike. And what I would do is take the Mantle of Webs, 
use it on the Golgari insect here. That's going to give them reach. It's going to move them down to the first spot. And then they're going to, of course, get that ability to use the first strike. Now, that's a real cheap, easy way to control the board. It's a really good way, especially if you don't have a lot of cards, because like those two cards, as I mentioned, they're not rare, they're not mythic, they're not masterpiece, right? So you'll probably already have those in your deck. I would go with that for this ability here. Now, this one here, this one for 15, Plague of Necrophages, it's a, it's a really good ability. I'll read it to you in a second. And um, I just want to point out that this one I talked about as a themed planeswalker. And this one definitely fits as a themed planeswalker, but this one is also a countdown planeswalker. Countdown planeswalker is basically a planeswalker that has an ability that's so strong that all you're doing is building a deck that's going to help you utilize that ability and we're just counting down the turns until we hit that ability and you'll see that in the video hopefully but this one i think is super strong i'm going to try to build the entire deck around that if i'm if i'm a player that's using this one here and hopefully by the time i get 15 i launch this ability and if i build the deck correctly boom the game is over so hopefully you'll see that in the gameplay here but anyway, I think, like I said, this is a game ender ability if you use it correctly. I would load up the graveyard, obviously, with cards. I would try to use things like Breach the Multiverse or maybe Angel of Suffering, right? That's going to be hopefully enough to just load up that graveyard. Then all you got to do is hit that third ability. These creatures will come out. You'll get some extra damage uh, if you kind of built it correctly. And what I'm hoping for maybe is to get Double Strike and Haste on these guys. And then that's going to be basically the end of the game. Okay, so let's take a look at the deck that I built for this Planeswalker here. This one is called Death by Head Lice. That's pretty gross. But you'll see why I call it that during the video gameplay. What it really does is it makes use of the fact that you're going to load up your graveyard, right? You're going to load up your graveyard. Hopefully you're going to be able to hit Plague of Necrophages. That's going to get you a ton of these insect tokens. And every time those insect tokens come out, this one here will deal damage to your opponent, right? It says here, when a creature with base power two or less enters the battlefield or is reinforced under control, your opponent loses two life and you gain two life. So you're gonna be doing two damage for every one of those insects that come out. And here, basically the exact same thing, right? When a token creature enters the battlefield under your control, deal three damage to your opponent's planeswalker and you get three life. So this one we're gonna use also to just make tons of damage flow in your opponent's direction. I also like Chalk Outline. Chalk Outline's a nice one here. When this support enters the board, destroy an opposing card at random. At the beginning of the combat on your turn, create X Detective Tokens. X is a number of creature cards in all graveyards. So again, we're going to be making a lot of creature tokens. These guys here will be doing a ton of damage to your opponent because of those. Uh, a couple of other things. Breach the Multiverse. I talked about this. This will send cards into your graveyard so that you can use them to make tokens. Pyromancer Goggles will help you to, to launch a bunch of these. All right, and the only other spell I have is Tempt with Discovery. That's going to help you to pop those other activate gems. You can pause the video if I'm going too fast and then take a look at the cards. But really what we're trying to do is get a ton of cards into the graveyard and then use these for the damage. Okay, so with that being said, let's see if we can take a look at some gameplay footage. What I'm really hoping for is the two cards that's either Campbell or Wisp Drinker, right? If you can get one of those two out, then you're going to be able to do some damage. Okay, we have Campbell here. That's really good. We're going to hope to get some extra tokens coming our way via the detectives, right? So the chalk outline. If we can get that going, that's going to be great. Wisp Drinker, I tell you what, we'll put her here. I kind of want Galta to come in so that we can launch the uh, the ability there. We're going to just try to make a ton of those green gems. That's going to help. Okay, here we go. Campbell is in. Arcane Bombardment. So that kind of tips you off, right? That tells you that the deck that the opponent is using is going to be heavy on either spells or direct damage or some sort of direct damage, it seems like. All right, Maggot Feast. 
Oh, nice. That gives me a wisp drinker here. So that's that's cool. I'm going to move this guy probably down because I don't need him at this point. And then, yeah, we'll go with that. That's a nice way to get a free a free creature. Just kind of build a deck correctly, right? And then you get your free creature. There we go. Chalk outline. That's excellent. Okay, chalk outline is excellent. Um, I kind of want to put it here. Okay, we'll go with that. What I'm hoping for, obviously, is a ton of cards in the graveyard. It would be nice if we had the uh, Breach the Multiverse. That would be cool. If we don't, then Pyromancer Goggles would be good. That's going to help you, of course, to get those Breach the Multiverse cards out. Go with this. Throw both of them away. Here we go. And... As it looks right now, I think I'm going to go here. That's going to give me two. And then, oh, a nice third. Galta will come in. And there we are. Okay. Chalk outline is nice. Cityscape lever leveler, no. And then Galta. And you see the beginnings of the finishing combo here, right? Every time we have these detectives that will come in, you'll get extra damage from here, extra damage from here. And really what we're hoping for is... The, the ability to just load up our graveyard, right? We can load up the graveyard, that's gonna be awesome. All right, so as it looks now, I think what we'll do is we'll hit this. Really would like a Pyromancer goggles right about now, that'd be great. Ah, you know what, I had an idea. I'm gonna use that first ability. It's gonna throw four cards into the graveyard. Hopefully those are creatures, right? And then we'll get more, obviously, of this guy here. And then more damage. Breaches. Okay, interesting card. No, I don't want that. There we are. Pyromancer's Goggles. Okay, this will go here. I'll throw that. Campbell again. That's cool. And I'm hoping we got some more creatures that went in the graveyard. Looks like we got one and two only. That's fine, though. We got the Pyromancer Goggles coming up shortly, if I can get this thing going correctly. Alright, I think we'll go with this. That's going to be nice. Gives me my match 5, well, 5 plus. And then, boom, that's what I wanted. Yes, I'll go with this. Ah, goodness. I, I guess I'll go with this, too. We'll see. Cityscape Leveler, no, I'm okay. Cityscape Leveler is nice. I mean, as long as you have the Cityscape Leveler going, that's going to just make sure that you can pretty much defend yourself in every single game situation. All right. Uh, Galta. I think we'll go with Galta here. And there we go. Galta's not going to trigger again, obviously, because it's one per turn. But that's a, that's a nice way to get it going. Okay, so... I'm gonna, I would like to hit this. I don't have enough to do the damage that's required to win, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till a turn later. What we're hoping for, obviously, is uh, a nice, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna, I'm hoping that the Pyromancer's Goggles is gonna give us Breach the Multiverse, and then we're gonna be able to just click and then finish, and then the game will be over. Let's see if we can get something like that. Oh, tempted with discovery. That's okay. All right. So it doesn't look like we're going to have too much of a chance here. Ah, oh, I missed it on the top, didn't I? Darn. Okay. See, that's what happens when you talk and try to record at the same time. It just doesn't work. But anyway, we're going to win. We're going to launch this. That's going to give us what we want for the, the insects. The opponent's going to take some damage. And then after that, we're we're basically going to be able to win this one, as I mentioned, right? Because we got a lot of tokens coming. If this doesn't kill them off, then the those detectives will definitely win it for us. Anyway, you can see why I called this one a Countdown Planeswalker, right? Because we're just counting down until we get that final ability. And once we get that final ability, we hit it and then game is over, right? Just... Just make sure you build the deck correctly uh, in a way that you're going to load up on the graveyard. And like I said, we're counting down until we get that ability. And once we get that ability, you hit that and then yeah, game's over. Okay, 
that's it from me guys hope you guys enjoyed the video like and subscribe share with all your friends that really helps the channel and that's it good gaming guys